As a complement to the sophisticated comfort and convenience features of the S-Type, Jaguar presents Pivots, a custom-designed portable in-car voice-operated telephone system. The versatile Jaguar phone is compact, completely portable, and offers the convenience of super speed dialing for up to 79 phone numbers, turbo dialing, scratch pad memory, automatic recall of the last 10 numbers dialed, as well as a number of other ways to customize the features of your phone. When installed in the dashboard presenter of your Jaguar or where the navigation system is fitted in the center console storage compartment, the phone interacts with the sound system providing all the features of the portable with the additional advantages of hands-free conversation and voice-activated calling. The user's guide describes the many features of the phone and its use outside the car. The audio system and voice activation system manuals describe how to make and receive calls using the car's radio and steering wheel controls and voice activation. Let's begin with the phone itself. For optimum performance outside of the car, the antenna should be extended. The antenna should be retracted when the phone is installed in the car. Volume through the earpiece is adjusted with buttons on the side of the unit. The V represents the lowest volume, and each bar a higher volume level. A series of status indicators lets you know when the power is on, when a call is in progress, and when the unit is beyond the range of a cellular service area and calls cannot be placed or received. Roam will be displayed when you're outside of your home system. Pages 73 through 77 in your user's guide give full details. Phone numbers, names, memory location numbers and other messages are presented in the alphanumeric display. Three or more bars on the signal strength indicator are usually needed to make and receive calls. The alphanumeric keypad is used to dial phone numbers, scroll through the menu and program the many useful and convenient features of the phone. The function keys are used to turn the phone on or off, to store memory locations and to select menu features, to enter programmable features to recall stored phone numbers in the memory locations, to place or answer calls, to remove characters from the display and to turn off menu features and to end calls or to exit features. To make a call in the portable mode, extend the antenna and press the power button once. Each time the phone is turned on, a series of self-tests is performed. A tone sounds and all displays and status indicators are lit. Keypad and display lighting go on when any key or volume button is pressed. If after a few seconds no key is pressed, the lights will go off to conserve the battery. Check the status indicators and display messages before placing a call. Displays which prevent calling, such as locked, are explained later in this video. Enter a telephone number. If an error in dialing is made, press CLR and release it quickly to erase the last digit entered. Pressing and holding CLR will erase the entire entry. Once the correct number is entered, press Send. Dialing and the phone number will appear in the display. To end a call, press End. The phone remembers the last number in the display. If you get a busy signal, you don't have to re-enter the number. Press End, then Send, and the number will be redialed. A fast busy tone means the cellular system is busy. An alternating high-low tone means the cellular system could not complete your call because you're in an area where service is not available, or you've tried to place the call before the signal strength indicators were visible. Before you end such calls, you can press Send. Redial will be displayed. For the next four minutes, the automatic redial feature will try to make the connection. The phone will ring once to indicate the connection has been made. You may then begin your conversation without pressing Send. If, after four minutes, the call does not go through, press Send and the system will again try to make the connection. To end the automatic redial feature, press End. Automatic redial does not work when the person you called is using their phone. 
To receive a call, the power must be on and the phone unlocked. <coughs> Extend the antenna and press send. To adjust the volume of the ringer, press FCN, then either volume button. Volume levels will appear in the display. Let's look at some of the phone's programmable features. Press FCN, then the number 1. Press star to scroll forward through the menu. Press the pound sign to scroll back through the menu. Press STO for a list of features under a menu heading and scroll through the list. Up to 79 frequently called names and numbers can be stored in your phone. Once you enter the information, you can quickly recall the number and the super speed dialing feature will immediately make the call. Memory locations 1 through 9 are reserved for turbo dial numbers. To store a number, press FCN and Menu 1. Phone book will appear. Press STO and scroll until Store Number appears. Press STO. Enter Number will appear. Use the keypad to enter the number including the area code. Press STO. Location will appear. Enter a two-digit memory location number from 1 to 79. Or press the black dot key. Alpha or STO appears. If you do not wish to put a name in, press STO. The phone number and the memory location will appear, followed by a request for more numbers to be entered. If you don't want to enter other phone numbers, press END. If you want to enter a name with the number, use the letters on the keypad. For example, A is the first press of number 2. B is the second press of number 2. Press the pound key to add space. CLR or star to erase an incorrect letter. When you've entered the name, press STO. To change or delete an entry in your phone book, press FCN and 1. Press STO, then scroll to the Edit feature. Press STO to select Edit. You may edit by memory location or scroll to edit by name. To edit by memory location, press STO when location appears. Enter the memory location number. The location number and the phone number will appear. Use the CLR button to erase a number or the keypad to change or add information. Press STO when the edit is completed. Location will appear for your next edit. If there are no more edits, press END. Stored phone numbers can be recalled by name or memory location number. To recall by name, press FCN, then 3. You can scroll to the name with the pound key or press the first letter of the name, then scroll to the full name. Press RCL if you also want to see the phone and memory location numbers. The display lets you know when there are no entries under a letter and after a moment will display the next alphabetical memory name entered. Once you've located the name, press send to place a call. Press end to end the call. To recall a phone number by its memory location, press RCL and then the two-digit location number. Press send to place the call, end to end the call. The phone numbers stored in the memory locations 1 through 9 can be dialed instantly by pushing the keypad number and holding it for about one second. There is no need to press send. Memory location number 1 should be reserved for a local emergency number, a special cellular emergency number if available, or the phone number of someone you would like contacted in the event of an emergency. This feature will work even if the phone is locked. This feature allows you to refer to or redial any of the last 10 phone numbers you've called. Press RCL, 0, then 0 again. The most recently placed call will appear. 
scroll through the numbers using the pound or star keys. Press send to place a call to any of the numbers. The ten most recently called numbers are stored in the order in which you place the calls. Successive calls to the same number are stored only once, and all the numbers are retained when the phone is shut off. Your phone is equipped with several features designed to help prevent unauthorized use or access to the information you've stored in it. Your Jaguar dealer has given you your three-digit lock code and six-digit security code. Instructions for displaying or changing the codes, as well as creating your own personal three-digit security code, are in the user's guide. To lock your phone manually, press the function key, then 5, for at least 2 seconds. Lock will appear in the display. Press STO to confirm that you want to lock the phone. To unlock the phone, press END, then enter your three-digit code. You can program the phone to automatically lock each time the phone is turned off. Press FCN, 1, and scroll to Lock Secure. Press STO, then scroll to Auto Lock Off or Auto Lock On. Press STO to toggle the feature on and off. Press END to exit the menu when you've made your choice. When the automatic lock feature is on, you must enter your three-digit code to unlock the phone. The sophisticated Jaguar communication system has been specially designed to work with the audio system in your Jaguar. The most important first step is to install the handset correctly. In addition to being connected to a cellular network, the phone must be off and the ignition must be off. With the antenna retracted, push the phone up against the top of the holder, then lower it until the connector port is secured in the cradle. The installed phone uses an antenna integrated into the rear windshield. The battery will be automatically charged when the ignition is on. The phone operates through the sound system. The ignition and the portable must be on. If you've programmed the automatic lock feature, you must enter your three-digit lock code on the handset. In the phone mode, voice and ringer volumes are controlled from the panel or the steering wheel controls. Your voice is carried through the microphone on the roof liner. An incoming call automatically switches the sound system on in the phone mode or switches to phone from any other mode. To answer an incoming call, press either phone button. A special feature can be programmed which answers incoming calls automatically after two rings. Press FCN, then 1. Scroll to Phone Options and press STO. Scroll to Call Options and press STO. Then scroll to the Automatic Answer feature. Press STO to toggle the feature on or off. Press END to exit the menu once you've made your choice. The first six phone numbers stored in the phone's memory can be dialed with the preset buttons. Press a preset to display the number. Press again to send the call. Use either Seek Tune control to access the numbers you've stored in the phone's memory positions 7 through 79. Press either phone button to make or end a call. Calls in progress will continue when you turn off the ignition or take the portable out of the car. However, calls begun prior to entering the car should be completed and the phone turned off before installing the portable into the presenter or centre console. Please consult your user's guide and the audio system and voice activation handbooks for details. Voice activation literally puts you in command of the sound system, climate control and in-car telephone. When you give a direction in a normal speaking voice in English, Radio play. It's picked up by the microphone, acknowledged and carried out by the system. Radio play. The voice activation system is controlled with the voice button on the steering wheel. The ignition must be on. Wait until the system is ready before you give a command. Adjust the speaker volume during a command with either volume control. Specific commands that you must use for each function are listed in the handbook. 
To give a command, press voice and wait for the tone. Phone numbers are said as single digits and entered in groups. For example, phone dial 242-685-4429. Phone dial 242-685-4429. Dial, please say yes or no. Yes. You can program the system to speed dial up to 40 phone numbers. Phone store, 212-685-4429. Phone store, 212-685-4429. Then you must assign a name tag. Name, please. Office. Again, please. Office. Once more, please. Office. Office. Stored. Once programmed, calls to any of the 40 numbers can be made only by saying dial and the name tag. Phone, dial office. Phone, dial office. Dial, please say yes or no. Yes. Voice commands should not be given while a phone call is in progress. Pressing the voice button will end the call. To select the radio mode, say... Radio play. Press voice again or wait about one second for the system to recognize the command. Radio play. To go to the next or previous station, push voice, wait for the tone, then say... Radio Seek up. Radio seek up. Or radio seek down. Radio seek down. You can create a voice directory of up to 30 stations. Radio tune 100.1 FM. Radio tune 100.1 FM. Instructions for setting up the directory and the correct way to say numbers are in the handbook. If a cassette is in the aperture, say... Tape play. Tape play. To change sides, say... Tape reverse. Tape reverse. To select the optional CD mode, say... CD play. CD play. CD play disc 2. CD play disc 2. CD off. CD off. Climate control automatic. Climate control automatic. A voice command sets driver and passenger temperatures at the same level. Climate control balance. Climate control balance. Bear in mind that commands may not be recognized if it's too noisy. For example, when driving with the windows down. As a general rule, if ambient sound levels are too high to use the in-car phone, it's likely that other voice commands will not be recognized. When you have questions about commands, ask the system. Phone help. Phone help. Radio help. Tape help. Climate control help. CD help. The system understands most accents. Voice help. Voice help. But you can train it to recognize your voice and one other if necessary. Instructions are in the voice activation handbook. With the Jaguar navigation system, you can plot a travel route that will get you to your destination in the quickest and most efficient way. Signals from the Satellite Global Positioning System combined with data from the anti-lock braking sensors, an earth magnet sensor and a CD map determine the car's location and calculate the best travel routes to airports, local points of interest, hotels, restaurants and gas stations. Maps are loaded into the navigation control unit in the luggage compartment. Be sure the ignition is in position 2 and the CD label is facing up.
the screen displays programming choices and destination information. Turn left ahead. The current function of buttons 1 through 4 is displayed at the bottom of the screen. For most screens, F4 will cancel the action and return to the previous screen. The cursor is used to select menu items, change settings, and select characters and numbers. The plus and minus buttons are used to change the scale of the map. The map button returns to the map display from any other display. The enter button confirms a screen selection and moves to the next screen in the current procedure. The I button is used to display information and for emergency assistance described later in this video. The off button turns the screen off. The system will continue to monitor the vehicle position and audible instructions are given. Turn left and then your destination is ahead. Press any button to turn the screen on again. The system goes on with the ignition. The Jaguar screen is displayed for 15 seconds, followed by the road safety warning. To use the system, press F1. The map showing your current location is displayed. Map screens display the navigation symbol, pinpointing the current position of your Jaguar the map heading symbol, indicating whether the map is oriented with north at the top of the screen or with the direction your car is travelling. The map scale, indicating the zoom level, which can be adjusted from 1 16th of a mile to 32 miles. The GPS symbol, showing that the system is receiving information from the satellites. And destination information, which can be set to show, while under guidance, the current time or distance to the end of the route displayed. Press F1 to display the main menu. You may begin by programming the basic display settings. Use the cursor to highlight number 3 and press Enter. Separate brightness and contrast levels can be set for day and night. Press F2 to set daytime levels. Use the cursor to select brightness then use the cursor to change the setting. Select Contrast, then set the level. Press F3 to set the night levels. In the Auto mode, settings are automatically selected. Night settings are automatically selected when the exterior lighting switch is on. Press Enter to confirm your settings and return to the main menu. Select Setup. You may choose the language in which information is displayed and audible instructions are given. Press F1. Press F1 to highlight the next or previous language, or use the cursor to scroll through the list of available languages. When the one you want is highlighted, press Enter to confirm your selection and return to the setup menu. Select Guidance. Press F1. Use the cursor to toggle the audible instruction feature on or off. Use the cursor to display either the time or the distance to your destination. Press Enter to confirm your choice and return to the guidance menu. The screen shows the average speeds on major and minor roads used to calculate the time to your destination. Use F1 and F2 to select the item you want to change. Use the cursor to change the speed, then press Enter to confirm your choice and return to the setup menu. Use the cursor to display the GPS symbol and map scale information. Press Enter to confirm your choice and return to the setup menu. In some instances, adjustments must be made in the position of your Jaguar as it appears on the map. Instructions for when and how to make these adjustments are in the navigation handbook. Information about the map you're currently using may be displayed. Updated maps or maps for areas outside the scope of your current map are available from your Jaguar dealer. Use the cursor to choose whether your trip is calculated and displayed in either miles or kilometers. Press Enter to return to the main menu. 
Press F1 to enter a destination. To begin, you will have to enter the data needed for the system to calculate the route to your destination. As you program various destinations, the data will be stored and you'll be able to recall it easily under Previous Destinations. Programming should only be done when the car is safely parked. To prevent a drain on the battery, the engine should be running. While driving, the cursor cannot be used. Only actions that do not require the use of the cursor can be carried out. You may select a destination from the map. Use the cursor to move the crosshairs from your current location to your destination. Press F1 to confirm and the system will calculate the route. Please proceed to the highlighted route. Then the route guidance will start. Press F2 to store the destination in the system's memory. Pressing F3 will let you change the map heading from north to the direction your Jaguar will be travelling in. Press F4 for a list of points of interest, which can be programmed into your overall route plan. Destinations can also be calculated by entering an address. To enter a street, press F1. Use the cursor to select the letters from the choices offered in bold face. Press Enter after each selection. To delete a character, select DEL, then press Enter. To add a space, select the space symbol and press Enter. As you enter the information, the system will compare your information with data in its memory and narrow the options so you can get to your choice more easily. Your choice of possible letter combinations will also narrow, with fewer and fewer appearing in bold face. When the characters entered reduces the possible names to five or less, a list will be displayed automatically. The scroll indicators at the side of the display show that more names may be available. Use the cursor to scroll through the list. Use the cursor to highlight your choice and press Enter to confirm your selection. Use the cursor to highlight the first digit in a house number, then press Enter. Repeat for each number. When all of the numbers have been entered, select End, then press Enter. Press Enter to confirm your destination. The route is then calculated and highlighted on the map. You can then drive away and follow the voice guidance given by the system. Please follow the highlighted route. Just before each turn, the screen will display the next junction. Turn left. If you miss a turn or make an unprogrammed stop, the system will automatically recalculate the route. After one half mile, turn left. Press F2 to repeat an audible instruction. After one half mile, turn left. A variety of choices can be made to further customize the route to your destination. In addition to the quick points of interest offered with the map, you may select from a list of names and addresses in the database. Types of roads and areas you would like to avoid may also be selected and automatically included in your overall route plan. Full details are in the navigation handbook. You have arrived at your destination. Your route guidance is now finished. Jaguar Assist uses the in-car telephone system to communicate with the Jaguar Emergency Response Center for rapid access to police, fire or ambulance emergency services, as well as roadside assistance for mechanical breakdowns. The in-car telephone must be installed correctly and on. The system will only operate in areas with cellular phone coverage and when connection to the network is established. Jaguar Assist cannot be used when a PIN number must be entered before a call can be made. In addition, a registration procedure must be completed. Your Jaguar dealer will review the features and restrictions of your cellular carrier to determine if they're compatible with Jaguar Assist and help you with registration. Jaguar Assist will be automatically activated when an airbag has deployed. You may obtain emergency assistance by pressing the information button on the navigation panel to display the assist menu. Messages which may be displayed are described in the navigation handbook. Press F1.
or press the information button a second time to display SOS request. The red light on the button will flash and a call will be placed automatically to the emergency response center. An operator who knows your vehicle identification number, your location and the vehicle's last recorded speed will respond and ask you the nature of the emergency. The operator will establish a three-way connection with Jaguar Roadside Assistance, the local 911 or other emergency service and the appropriate assistance will be dispatched to your vehicle. When the operator is satisfied that the situation has been dealt with, the call will end and the flashing red light on the information button will go out. Please contact your Jaguar dealer and consult the navigation handbook for additional details for using Jaguar Assist.